Turning now to a live look over Washington, D.C., where President Biden has been meeting with his national, national security team over the escalating crisis between Russia and Ukraine. U.N. Security Council also holding an emergency meeting this evening at the request of Ukraine. Today, Russian President Vladimir Putin declared two parts of Ukraine belong to him and moved Russian forces into those breakaway regions. It has many in Sacramento's Slavic community worried about an invasion. CBS 13's Adrian Moore is in our newsroom with the growing fears. And Curtis and Elizabeth, that fear very real tonight for the Slavic community. We caught up with one man who has more than 30 loved ones in Ukraine. He says they are terrified. This could be the start of a war. It's very, it's very hard. Roman Ramasso is glued to his phone and his television, anxious to hear updates from family in Ukraine. It's very hard to, to make a plan in this situation because we don't know what could be happening. Roman is the director of the Slavic Assistance Center in Sacramento. He says maintaining a sense of calm, given the chaos with Russia, has been challenging, especially after new signs that an invasion is imminent. My words to uh, all Ukraine, be calm and continue uh, pray for the peace. In a late night address, Russian President Vladimir Putin recognizing two breakaway regions in Ukraine as independent states and the Russian military being brought in. Putin oversaw nuclear military drills over the weekend. Half of his 190,000 troops on Ukraine's border are ready to attack. It could happen any day. Uh, today could be that day. The White House responding by saying President Biden will impose sanctions on anyone doing business in those republics in eastern Ukraine. European allies call Putin's move a violation of international law. They, too, promise to respond with sanctions. What we have done is indicate to the world that this is not something Russia has been provoked into. This is a brutal war of choice that Russia will be perpetrating on its neighbor. As the world watches, Roman is focused on his loved ones, planning an escape if necessary. They told me if uh, it be the worst scenario, they're going to be moved out from, uh, I'm not from Ukraine, probably escape to a safe place, to Poland. President Biden says he will not send U.S. forces into Ukraine if Russia invades.